Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I wanted to show you something really interesting. Now, um, we've heard of lung thoracic nerve palsies and winging scapula, um, and it's not a very common issue, but there are a couple ways to identify if somebody has a, a, a lung thoracic nerve palsy, okay? So, one of the things you will notice is obviously this winging scapula. Now, Cameron is 22 years old, she fell about three weeks ago. Um, was doing fairly well prior to this, but from the fall she developed this winging scapula and as a result Pain around the shoulder. Look at how her scapula is sticking up here Okay, so it's completely pulled over this way and just not holding itself into place So a couple different ways to identify if they have that is, is just a winging scapula but the next thing is to look at active range of motion and then stabilize the scapula. So I'll ask you if you would to just straighten out your arms like this and if this one goes all the way let it go. Okay now that gets kind of pinchy right it's yeah. blocked up. Okay now what I'd like to do is I'd like you to have your arms go out to the side if that one goes all the way. Allow that. Look at where her scapula is. Okay and her arm is at about 45 degrees. Okay so what I'm going to do now you can rest is I'm going to take this scapula and I'm going to put it in place. Now sometimes it's hard to identify if it's a scapular issue or not. With Cameron here it's not. Um, we know what it is. But some people may have a rotator cuff issue and it's hard to identify if it's coming from a cuff tear, inflammation, or if it's actually coming from scapular weakness. But one way to identify that, you take that scapula and I'm going to take it, I'm actually going to pull it all the way back and I'm going to put it in place just like that. There we go. And now I'm going to ask her to lift her arm straight up in front of her and check that motion out. All right, now she's had shoulder instability in the past and she had a procedure to help stabilize that shoulder and do it one more time. And so just by putting her scapula in place and, and seeing this significant improvement in range of motion, we know, you can rest, we know that this is a scapular stability problem. So interestingly, when she came in yesterday, we were able to activate the rhomboids a little bit, the serratus a little bit, and even the mid trapezius, and she did well with that. We put some tape on here, she was much more comfortable for the night, right? Mm -hmm. um, and just had much better function. So we're gonna work on stimulating with electrical stimulation, the medial side of the scapula, we may do some taping, we might even put her into an S3 shirt or some sort of a stabilizing shirt that holds the scapula in better position. But ultimately, work on the rotator cuff, but with good scapular stability. So that's going to be our emphasis. If she doesn't seem to show some improvement, um, you know, within the next couple of weeks, then a, an EMG is indicated, and then uh, we kind of go from there. But I think we're going to have uh, some good success. We've had success with her in the past with an injury similar to this. Um, so I think we'll do well. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and thank you very much.